Tonight here in North Texas, several agencies are either heading down or preparing to assist and respond during or after Hurricane Harvey. Got Jeff Paul on that story live in North Dallas, where everybody we understand from fire rescue to even hospitals are pitching in in some way. Jeff? Yeah, Doug, many drivers out here tonight are probably noticing the signs along the highway urging folks to stay away from the Texas coast. Well, that is not stopping hundreds of folks throughout DFW from actually going down into the storm in an effort to help. Arriving by jet from the Texas coast, doctors work quickly to transport this critically ill baby to the newborn intensive care unit at Cook Children's in Fort Worth. The baby is the first of 10 doctors and nurses are preparing to take care of as Hurricane Harvey gets closer to making landfall. If I were a parent, I would be scared, but I know that we will take care of their children as if they were our very own. Children's Medical Center in Dallas is also flying out and bringing back several babies to care for away from the storm. They're worried high winds and flooding could create major power outages and put a clamp on available food and clean water. It's not like you can drive them up. Right, not like you can drive them up. It'd be a really long time um, to manage that. So. But for those who cannot leave or haven't, oh boy. the elite 70-member team of Texas Task Force 2 is ready. It just speaks toward the dedication. Uh, of what they do and how much it means to them to be able to serve. Dallas Fire Rescue's Jason Evans says this team will stage in San Antonio at Kelly Air Force Base. He says they're leaving their families behind and are ready to rescue folks trapped in buildings, stuck in high water, or for whatever Mother Nature throws their way. Insurance agencies like State Farm are also mobilizing, they're sending hundreds of crews near the area, a proactive move to help potential victims get back on their feet wherever Harvey strikes. So we're making sure we've got the resources in place so that we can help them recover from this storm and, and get their life back together after it occurs. Now, if needed, the city of Dallas says it is ready to house some 6,000 evacuees if needed. But again, it is a waiting game right now throughout DFW. Reporting live here in North Dallas, I'm 